If you want to ditch the galloping lawn and you're fed up with the banality of the conventional WA garden and you want to take a walk on the wild side, then this is my guide to creating a permaculture cornucopia. Step one, design is everything. Get out in the garden and walk around, preferably with a compass so you can orientate yourself and make sense of where you live, reducing the impact of those hot summer winds and taking advantage of that precious winter sun. Step two, come to terms with where we live. Now, we have a tough climate and soils to match, but if you understand this, then it'll help with your preparation and your plant selection. Healthy soil equals healthy plants and that equals healthy food. You see, when your soil is alive and nourished by great compost, your plants thrive, and most importantly, then they produce. Step four, you're gonna have to ditch those chemicals because permaculture is all about being organic. Now, that just means you think smarter about your weeds and your pests, but the rewards make it worthwhile. Step five, you work with nature, not against it. So you look to mimic how nature works. For example, grey water from our home feeds the fruit trees and they give us fruit, compost and shade. They also feed the chooks who give us eggs, meat and pest control in the garden. So there you have it, permaculture in a nutshell. If you would like more information, check out Permaculture West or the Hamilton Hill Sustainable Home Project.